Hello and welcome back to yet another video. Today I reached out to my friend Ole Nilsson, who's over there. Uh, and <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> Ole Nilsson and uh, Arnulfur. Arnulf Halkansson. Ha Halkansson. Arnulf. Uh, this guy. <laughs> so I got some expert help today <laughs> when I'm trying to shoot some commercial shoot for a rooftop tent that yeah. this guy owns. So I. Okay, they try to do some <laughs> beautiful B rolls here. <laughs> With a little uh, slow motion going on. With the <laughs> slow motion going on. It's a 4K 120. Yes. Uh, great work, guys. <laughs> And I'm planning to put the tent over there. Oh, the conditions starting to be great. And I'm doing this to hopefully to reach out to a brand and to evolve my craft and bring you along to see how it goes for me. So let's go and place the tent. Now we have placed the car in a position I really like. And what I'm looking for is a tranquil adventure and outdoor feeling. And I hope I will get it. We got some beautiful yellow leaves behind me and behind the car. And I hope we will get a good sunset and light up the car. I'm really searching for that tranquil, outdoor, good feeling of being outside. And that's probably what the rooftop tent client would like the people that seeing these photos feel. So they will consider buying a product like this. And that's why I'm aiming and thinking about that, to get that most important thing. I will talk about the most important thing a bit later. Now, let's see if we can get some shots and some fire going. Wow, this is pure fun. I love the fire. I got some beautiful shots and thanks to my friend Ole. And some tips from a really great photographer, Arnulfur. And it's golden to get good advice from people like Ole and Arnulfur that are great photographers. I'm having a blast and doing this outside and just shooting. And that's sometimes a problem because then I will get home with a lot of photos and I have a lot of photos to edit, but that's a luxury problem. While talking about luxury, I'm going to sleep here tonight, and that is also a luxury. I will show you in the B-rolls in the end of this video, the tent, it's beautiful. But now I'm waiting for the sun to set, so I get a bit more glow on this tent, for hopefully, and I will get some beautiful evening shots. And I will might even try some night shots and long exposure with the tent. I will show those in the end of this video. But I hope the sun is setting right now. It's starting to get the, that yellow beautiful glow. So I have to hurry and start snapping some shots and hopefully get some more tips and help from my friends. And now when it's, the sun is setting, it's getting hard to film. So I will end this video in the studio. Let's go. Well, now I'm back at the office. Let me just place this camera so it's much easier to record. This is much better, I think, right? But let's get back and talk about a video. So it was getting dark, as I said before, so it was not easy to film and take photos at the same time. So we had to go into the tent and make up a fire with the ignition steel and make that fire going in that wooden stove that he has in that tent. Oh, it was a great, beautiful and cozy tent. It's a big one, so we 
sat, sat there on two chairs and just chatted and had a blast that evening. And it was tremendous help for, for me to meet two guys like Ulle and Arnold. I probably pronounced that very wrong. Sorry for that, man. Those two guys, you should check them out. Arnold for that Icelandic guy is a great photographer, do some street work. And Ulle is a very, very talented uh, nature photographer. And those photos he takes of animals is just stunning. You should follow those guys. But I had a blast anyway to just sit there and chat with these guys that are so talented and have a lot of information and doing so well in this business. And that elevated me as a creator to get creative ideas and just get a lot of tips on how I should approach things and, and try to do in my niche and try to find my way in this business. So that is one of my tips actually, to just try, do like me, meet with people that are creative and doing the same thing as you want to do and talk about cameras and filming and stuff because that's what we all love, right? And just meet up with these people and, and you will be much better creative and a creator. And it doesn't have to be people that are, like I was lucky this time meet up with guys that are in the industry and are, in my opinion, big in the industry that are two of my idols that I've been following for a long time. It doesn't have to be that. It's more about meeting people and being creative together and lift each other and get more ideas and get more creative. But of course, I won't lie, it helps a lot to meet people that are in the business and living off it and are doing well. And my tips to reach out to other people, particularly people that are like I did with Ole, that are, in my opinion, big in this business, is that you should reach out with a service mind, that you want to bring value to another person. Because if you bring value, you will get value. It's that old saying like, what you give, you get. You want to approach it with a service mind. Like, can you bring some value to that person? And thanks to him, I got to go up there and photograph the one thing he has that I someday will have, and that is a rooftop tent. And I want to photograph and do commercial shoot on brands like Outdoor Days and Rooftop Tent. That's why I got this idea. I will go up there and I will do a video about it where I can bring you guys with me when I'm doing this shoot. That's my second tip and that is to reach out to people around you that has things that you want to photograph and owning brands that you want to work with someday. Like Ole owns the Outdoor Days tent. And I want to work with those guys someday in the future. So I have now collected a portfolio with a lot of photos that I can present to the client. And I also am working on a pitch. So in my opinion, those two things are very important. Have a portfolio and a good pitch. So now I can show the client what my service can be of and what kind of value I can bring to the table with my photos. And that thanks to Ole and his rooftop tent that I get the opportunity to photograph. Thanks again, Ola. So if you have a neighbor, let's say, that has a Porsche and you want someday to work with sport car brands, or particularly Porsche, reach out to that neighbor and ask if you can take some free photos on that car. Try to reach out to people that has those things that you don't have and go photograph it to collect a portfolio that you can use to sell your pitch with. I will try to do this soon with Outdoor Days or some other rooftop tents brands and if you're curious how it goes for me why not consider subscribing and please give this video a thumbs up as well while you're at it and what i wanted in my portfolio from these photos is what i mentioned before that i wanted to talk about and that is the most important thing i'm thinking about when i'm doing a shoot like that and what i'm aiming for and that is to have a compelling story the compelling story about being outdoor and you want to bring the feeling of adventure and tranquil and being outdoor and having smell or the feeling from the fire and you want the viewer to think that they are going to sleep and that rooftop tent. You want to package that in a photo. That's what I'm trying to do as good as I can. And to be honest, it's very, it's very, very hard. And I think I managed to take a few photos with that, with that compelling story. 
from this shoot. I will give an example. Let's jump back to the forest. <laughs> like in this example, I'm using my friend Ole and I'm trying to use that axe and the roof tent in the background to get that feeling of outdoor and adventure and the urgency to just get out and sleep in a tent like this. Yeah, and the best thing about this is that you get to feel like, like a man oh, for once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the number one thing I want to immediate. <laughs> so let's take this shot and see if I can get some good compelling story. And we're back again. And of course, I had too much fun. I talked to Ole and Arnulfur and we just chatted and I filmed and it was too much fun. So I forgot to take a photo of this particular composition, of course, but I got some other photos that are compelling stories. I will show those photos later in the end of this video. But after the shoot, it got a bit too dark. So we went into the tent, as I said before, and I didn't shoot much more this evening until it was pitch black outside. And I went out the tent and looked up in the sky and there was no cloud. So I thought, this is great. I got a star sky over me with the tent. So I rushed and bring my camera, got out and got these two photos. They turned out so good, I think. Of course, it's not one photo, it's two photos stitched into one. So I had to compose for the exposure of the sky and the car and then the exposure of the tent and then stitch them together. But they turned out really great and I'm very pleased with my Nikon Z6 that they're doing very well in low light and it focused great even if it was dark out. But this is the end of this video. So until next time, keep on shooting and capture those amazing moments. Bye!